keeping you informed, involved, and in touch. This is News 3 HD at 6. For the fourth time this year, a Dane County deputy uses deadly force against a suspect. And authorities are giving credit to Fitchburg police for preventing what they say could have been a domestic homicide. News 3's Mark Levicott starts our team coverage tonight with more on what happened last night, Mark. Well, Susan and Eric, News 3 has learned the identity of the suspect who was killed. He is Eugene Walker, Jr. It's still unclear if the 25-year-old was armed at the time of the incident, but we know he had a lengthy police record record, including weapons violations, drug and domestic charges, and he had just gotten out of prison. Police first tried to make contact with Walker last night on Syene Road in Fitchburg. Police say Wilson, uh, Walker rather, entered his ex-girlfriend's home, started a fight, and then pulled a gun on her. She called police. Walker left and was eventually found about a mile away on Deer Valley Road in the town of Madison. A Dane County deputy found him there. Authorities tell us the deputy raised his weapon and ordered Walker to the ground. Police say Walker then charged at the officer and attacked him, and during the scuffle, the deputy shot him. Walker later died at UW Hospital. Ironically, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. We've been trying to bring attention to that um, throughout the month. And um, like I said, unfortunately, this is the type of incident that, that really draws people's attention. And I think um, we really need to focus on that. A close friend of Walker's tells News 3 he feels the deputy used unnecessary force and killed a man who was, quote, just in a tough spot. Dane County tells us Walker was believed to be armed and he attacked that officer. As is protocol, an internal investigation is underway looking into the shooting and the deputy's actions until that's complete. The deputy, who we're told in his 11-year veteran with the Dane County Sheriff's Office, has been placed on paid administrative leave. Mark Lovacott in our news center tonight. Mark, thank you very much. Sure.